Hello, my name is Jacqueline Bell, and today I'm going to talk to you guys once again about makeup and how it can affect your mood, how it can be a source of color therapy, and how makeup sometimes intimidates people, especially other women, I've noticed that. So I'm going to put on some makeup, and while I'm putting on the makeup, I'm going to talk to you guys about that, because it's a really crazy thing. Um, I recently got my Ipsy bag. If you don't know what the Ipsy bag is, it's a sampling of all different types of cosmetics, which you can try, and it's $2 a month, and um, it's pretty cool. Some of the um, products in there um, cost way much more if you weren't to get it through the Ipsy bag, so I've been enjoying it, and yeah, there's a lot of people that really still don't take too kindly to women wearing makeup. They feel like women who wear makeup means that they're loose, they're harlots, or um, they're trying to get attract, they're trying to attract a mate, so or trying to look better than another woman or whatever. So it's ridiculous. But here's the bag itself. Every uh, month it comes with a different bag. Last month, I'll show you the bag I had last month. Last month I had this bag. This is the bag that came in. So pretty cool. I might add like a strap on it to make it a little, you know, a little purse. That would be cool. So let's see what's in this bag. Let's see. So we've got some hand cream with marigold and comfrey, which are really good. Good ingredients, really good herbs. So that's cool. I could use some hand cream. My hands get dry a lot during the summer. And let's see. What do we have here? I can tell that a lot of cosmetics companies are trying to incorporate um, herbs and natural ingredients into their cosmetics, which is a good thing. I do want to eventually make my own cosmetics, so it's like a lipstick. So what's the name of it? La Nique Fatale. Is it red? Oh, it's pink. How is this fatal, fatal, when it's pink? Maybe it'll look, it'll look darker on, on lighter skin, but on my skin it's going to be pink. We're, we're going to work with this. We'll try this out. <laughs> Let's see, we got, what else we got? Um, Front of, front of the line pro eyeliner in black. Yep, I like black eyeliner, so hopefully this will do it. I still have my wet and wild um, eyeliners that I got from um, from the store. Uh, I think it's called Dollar General. That's the store that we have out here near where I'm at now. <clears throat> it's kind of similar to um, kind of similar to a um, how should I. Rainbow Grocery Outlet, if you've ever been to a place like that. So this is called, I don't know what this is, it says Sage on the on there. Sage Cosmetic. Oh, it's nail enamel, all right, because I'm running out of nail enamel anyway, so. Perfect, let's see what color they have. Orange. And you know what's funny that, that this is orange because Recently, I did a show on my Healing with Color channel about the sign of Leo, and that's the sign that I am. I'm on the cusp, born on July 23rd, and um, one of the colors of Leo is orange, and the other color is gold, so how appropriate. <laughs> so I'll look forward to using that. Uh, let's see what else we got in here. And last, last but not least, we've got a mild facial exfoliant exfoliator and I'll use this on an upcoming show. I haven't been good at doing those uh, skincare shows that I, I had started but I have so many of these type of things for my Ipsy bag so I'll use some of these and show you how it makes my skin feel. Uh, my skin can get really dry and irritated from the air here in this environment. Um, they're spraying down like they've got like a, um, a crop duster that comes by and and there's chemtrails, and it's just fucking crazy. So, so that's all we got in here. That's that's a nice haul. We've got the nail enamel, which is a really pretty color. And we've got the Le Femme Fatale, Le Beauté Fatale, this color here. 
I don't know guys, we'll try it though. Um, mild exfoliator and hand cream. Pretty good haul, I think. So yeah, if you guys want to check out Ipsy, I am no way sponsored by Ipsy when I do these videos, but if you'd like to check them out, feel free to do so. Um, you know, that's a funny thing. I'll get back to what I was talking about before I open this bag. I think I'll put the exfoliator and the hand cream away and leave off the things that I'm going to use. But the funny thing, uh, lately when I decided to express myself more with wearing makeup, I've always liked to express myself wearing makeup. I feel like it is artistic expression for me. A lot of people just laugh at that, but I am an artist. And if you've seen my past videos, um, you'll see that I am truly an artist and I like to express myself. And a lot of the times the way I express myself through makeup makes people very uncomfortable. And um, it makes them very like unsure of themselves around me. or It's just weird. And when I'm without makeup, people seem to feel more comfortable around me, a lot of people. Which is very, very odd and strange to me, if you ask me. So whatever people are going to be how they are and you can't change them but it's just annoying so i'm going to start off by putting on that eyeliner that was in there because i'm a really big fan of eyeliner and lipstick and i like eyeshadow too so so i'm going to put on the eyeliner um i'm going to look in the main mirror so if i'm looking up that's why so okay look at this I guess with this you have to, like, on the bottom it screws up so you get just the right amount. See that? That's pretty cool. So, can that fit on there? Good. Alright, here we go. Maybe I shouldn't be sitting down. Maybe I should stand up. Let's bring the camera up. Maybe I should stand up. There. There we go. Alright, here we go. I'm gonna attempt to put this on. I like to do my eyebrows uh, differently than most people do. But whatever. What I usually do is I put, uh, I was doing for a while, is I was putting the, um, I was putting the eyeliner uh, on after I would put the eyeshadow all over my eyes in this area so that you can see, can see the traces of my eyebrows. So I just find it fun doing this. And the ancients wore makeup all the time for many reasons. Ancient Egyptians wore eye makeup in order to protect themselves against the evil eye. I too do that as well because I get the evil eye a lot from people, people trying to, it doesn't even matter if I have makeup on or not. It doesn't matter if, if back in the day my hair was straightened and I try to conform to um, white European female um, standards and it still didn't matter. I still got judged no matter what because my skin is brown. You know what I'm saying? So <laughs> it doesn't matter what you do in this world. There's always going to be people that are going to want to judge you for whatever reason. For their Well, here's the reason for their own insecurities. They're, in, they're insecure about themselves. Whenever someone makes fun of you or makes snide comments about you, your appearance or whatever, it's because they don't feel positive about themselves and they feel like by saying these things about you, then they can make themselves feel better. But ultimately it doesn't because they remain miserable, especially if you don't react directly to them about it. So, Let's see, now I'm going to do my eyelids here. Go. This is decent, I guess. It's a little... Uh, it's not as smooth as the liquid eyeliner, but it's, it's nice. I don't like using like, um, dark brown eyeliner. I like black because that really defines my eyes. There's this really cool lady. Her name is Andalara or Andalara, I mean, and she talks about metaphysical, um, matters and topics on her YouTube. And she also, um, makes her own makeup as well. And she made this, she makes her own eyeliner at least. And she recently made a video, I haven't watched it yet, but she made a video before where she showed how she made her own, own homemade eyeliner. So you might want to check that out. And you might want to check out her YouTube. 
She's a really, really awesome lady. Uh, I've been watching her YouTube channel for, for quite a while, for a few years now. And I like what she has to present. So I think that's the extent that I'm going to do with the eyeliner. I'm going to keep it simple. Um, sometimes I like to let my eyes, eyela my eyebrows be more dramatic, but we'll see as time goes on in this video if I decide to do that. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to put, I have this right here and what it does is it helps with the, um, of oh my eye, I don't know if you can see it because the lighting is not so great in here. Let's go like this. Right here, like where my eyebrows, you can see the hair. So basically what I've been doing is using this here. I think it's just like a bronze, bronze powder, but I've been using this in that area. So that's what I'm going to do right now. I'm going to use this end here. Basically what it does is it camouflages the hairs of your natural eyebrows. So everything blends in and looks smooth for the most part. So that's why I do that. I used to do uh, different colors like that. I used blue, all blue at one point. I use what I have. <laughs> That's basically what I do. I use what I have, so. You know, and also I wanted to make another point. Sometimes women feel like, like I've made, said before on a, a video that I did not too long ago about makeup and age is that a lot of women feel like when they get a certain age, they shouldn't wear makeup because they're like in the crone phase or the, the grandma phase or whatever you want to call it. I call it the crone phase when you start getting older. You know, first you're the maiden when you're younger, you know, and then you're the, 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 um, then you're the maiden, then you're the mother where you're uh, having that maternal instinct, you're raising children, and then you're the crone. I think through all stages, you can wear makeup if you want to, but people just put these kind of conditions on themselves and on other women, especially other women. There's so much competition against women against women, and it's ridiculous, it's stupid. <clears throat> Actually, we should just be working together, but not everybody believes that. So what am I gonna do next with my eyes? Um, I think I'll hold off on my eyes and try this lipstick actually and see what this is about. I'm really skeptical about this color <laughs> because I usually don't go for really light colors unless I use like blue or whatever, but let's see what it looks like. Yeah, I definitely don't like that color. Do not like that color. I'm more into darker colors. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna adjust this color by adding another color onto it, which is like eyeshadow. I use this right here. It's old and I use it to blend colors. I'll take old eyeshadow like this color here and then I'll just apply it to on top of it like that. And then mix it in. So I like to play with colors, and that's why I say that makeup for me is like art. It is art. I'm blending colors like I would when I paint with oil paints or acrylics, or watercolors for that matter. Which reminds me, I need to order some more paint. <laughs> so yeah. Yeah, definitely don't like that pink color on my lips. Looks like my battery is starting to dwindle. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna hook it up to the charger so we can finish this video out. But I hope you're enjoying this so far. Um, I seem to get a good receptive audience for this uh, type of video. A lot of times, always in the mix, is gonna be somebody saying, you look so much better without makeup. And I really don't. I really don't care to hear that, but you know, you're going to say what you're going to say. Um, I'm not doing this to impress anybody. Like I've said many a times, it's just uh, ridiculous how people still have that in their mind. Yeah, like I've talked about too, that uh, Egyptians would use makeup for the evil eye, especially the black makeup. Um, the um, 
tribes all over the world would do that to protect themselves because there's a lot of negative, evil energies coming out of people trying to thrust it upon you because they're unhappy in their lives. They're not satisfied in their lives. And a lot of times people try to control other people when they can't control their lives. So let me see if I'm gonna add a little more dimension to this, to my eyes with the eyebrows. I'm feeling like pumping my eyebrows up a bit more, so. I have always been attracted to that stuff, that, um, not style, but that type of eye, the Egyptian eye. And it's not for vanity or, like I said, to attract a mate. I feel connected to that time period. Um, and a lot of people do because you have lived in that time period in another lifetime. So... There is a connection. And the more research you do about Egypt and their costumes and their ways and what they used to do, then you discover that. All over the country though, not just in Egypt, but everywhere in the world, makeup has been used in order to um, either to um, protect yourself, ward yourself against evil eye, um, in order to use a form of um, color therapy, check out my Heal With Color channel and it'll show you a lot of what I'm talking about on these shows that I do, these makeup videos. Um, I just want to inspire people to not be afraid to express themselves regardless of what other people tell them. You know, um, it's a world where people are being so competitive, this is ridiculous. It's insane. And women, especially, I've experienced are extremely competitive, you know, especially when I started losing weight. It's ridiculous how competitive people can be around me when that happens. And I wasn't losing weight in order to, you know, attract attention. I just naturally lost weight because I stopped doing the same kind of uh, habits that I was doing that I knew were unhealthy for me. So I'm gonna put a little bit of this blue on here, on my eyes. So. So yeah, a lot of times too, makeup can just be fun. And a lot of times it, we forget that. We forget to ha how to have fun. We get to be, we say, oh, we're, I'm a certain age, so I shouldn't be wearing makeup, you know? I shouldn't be uh, fooling around with all of this. But actually, certain color combinations can be very effective in healing, definitely. You know what I'm going to do? I'm going to be experimental. And I'm experimental with my makeup a lot of times, um, especially with the eyebrows. <laughs> um, that really gets them every time, the eyebrows. It's like it's too much. <laughs> so what else am I going to use? I think, let me show you what my eyes look like so far. Close my eyes. I like the way that looks. That looks nice. Um, let's see, so if we balance this phone here, it's still charging. <laughs> but yeah, I like that. I think that looks really nice. Um, let me see how this nail polish looks on me. While I'm talking to you, I'll paint my nails. <laughs> but um, yeah, that's what, I was trying to, what I'm trying to, to get across to people when they watch these videos is that... Let's see if I can bring it down there. <laughs> Without it falling over. That's what I was trying to get across to people. I usually look at everything in this bathroom. So, I've been trying to get that across to people that um, I'm not doing this in order to have somebody find me attractive because I know, already know, that I'm a beautiful person within and without. And I heard, you know, I saw some comment someone made about how, um, you know, it's good, to, it's good to know that I feel, you know, good on the inside and out, and I'm so natural and I don't need makeup. And it's not like I need makeup. And you women out there know what I'm talking about to do wear makeup. You don't wear it because you feel like you need it. You wear it because you want to, because it's fun. And 
a lot of times it's a it's a way of expressing just that inner feeling you have these colors that you you can feel the same i mean colors have a feeling to them they have a vibration to them they have an energy to them and when people look at these colors they feel a certain way certain colors aren't for everyone certain colors uh can agitate people, some colors can really uh, lift people's spirits up. And you realize that when you go out into nature and you observe all the beautiful foliage of the trees, uh, the flowers, the roses. I live at a, in a place where there's roses growing in the front yard and it's beautiful. And um, <clears throat> I appreciate that every day, being able to have that kind of color therapy, and I spread it on to my face and my nails. That's a pretty color, I like that. It's like a, um, it is an orange, orange color. It's beautiful, I like it. <laughs> and you know, doing this kind of stuff, it takes me out of the everyday, um, as Terrence McKenna would say, polite society um, world where people feel like they have to conform and look exactly the same and do exactly the same as everyone else. It's just like, it's ridiculous. As I said, people just say, feel like once they get a certain age, they have to stop doing things that they used to do. And I think that that's not the way for me to go, actually. It stifles my creativity. It makes me ignore exactly who I am. And who I am is a creative person, a creative being. And that's something that not everybody can understand. Just because someone's wearing makeup and wearing nail polish doesn't mean that they're a fake person. And that's just something that needs to be erased from the minds of people around us. You can be somebody who doesn't wear makeup, doesn't wear nail polish, um, you know, and considers yourself all natural. But that doesn't mean you're a good person. You know, and I've met a lot of people like that, you know, and when I didn't wear makeup uh, at all for a while, I went a few, several years without wearing makeup. It wasn't because I didn't like makeup. It's just because I didn't feel like wearing it. Um, and people, I would hear people judging other women for wearing makeup. And it's just like, why are you doing that? Why are you trying to tear somebody down? Let's work together and build each other up. But that just isn't the mentality of a lot of people. You know, so. It's a sad thing, too. Because if people really did their research about all of this, the history behind makeup, then they would know that there's so much more that's going on when you do this. You're looking at these colors and you're seeing them on you. Um, and you feel, you're feeling the vibration of these colors. These colors have a vibration to them, whether people want to realize it or not. And I'm not trying to promote that everybody, every woman should wear makeup. I'm not promoting that. I'm just saying, because there's some w women that like to wear makeup because it makes, the colors make them feel good. It's just like when you wear certain colors, like I'm wearing a blue dress. Um, blue for me is a very calming color. Uh, this orange is a very invigorating color to me, very lively color. Uh, my favorite colors actually are red and black. Um, and that color combination is a very strong color combination, I feel. So. And it's a time to just get away and just do something for yourself. Um, so just remember that when you guys, when some of you make these comments on here, like you look a hundred times better without makeup, just realize that I'm a human being. I'm a, I'm a being on this planet who, uh, I don't know if I'm human now. <laughs> you know, I don't want to, sometimes I don't want to relate or identify with the human race is how, how crazy the human race has become throughout the years. It's ridiculous. So. So anyway, there we go. Nails done. My nails, uh, they grow, they grow um, fast, and then they and then they break because I'm always doing artwork that's messy and has to do with my hands. So usually, um, 
my nails are longer, but it doesn't matter to me, you know? They grow and they break off. That's just the cycle of it with being an artist and being a very um, mixed media artist. But yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed today's, um, how would I call it, makeup chat. <laughs> um, I enjoy putting on makeup and doing my nails. I don't have to do it every day. I do it when I feel like it and it makes me feel good and I love it. I love that color therapy. It's a fun thing too. And there's nothing wrong with having fun as an adult. People think they get a certain age and they can't have fun anymore. They can't create art because they're too old for that stuff. You know what? You never get too old to be creative. If you stifle your creativity, then you stop living altogether. You know, and that's when you start to uh, speed up the aging process. When you continue to be creative and do those things, it really gives you joy and makes you feel happy. Um, that's when um, you feel this youthfulness and this timelessness, like um, the world is more than it seems. So um, instead of just some humdrum, okay, here we go again with the starting of the week, it's Monday, here we go. You start to really appreciate every single day for what it is and really start to learn lessons from all these experiences you've accrued on this planet. We're not just here to just come here and work nine to five jobs and then come home and then go to sleep and then wake up and do it all over again. We weren't meant to be living on a, a slave planet because that's pretty much what it's turning into for a lot of people. And way of kind of breaking out of that bit by bit is by exploring your creativity. And this is yet another way of exploring your creativity. So I hope you guys enjoyed today's show. I'm going to wrap this up because my, uh, my phone camera can't handle it too much because it's still charging. But thank you so much for joining me today. I hope you enjoyed it. Uh, thank you for subscribing to my channel. Thank you for the likes and shares. And thank you for your kind comments. Leave your comments down below and let me know how do you express yourself with makeup. Color. It's color. Color therapy. And I love it. And my first love was painting. Anyway, when I first started creating art, I loved to paint and I loved to have fun with colors. And there's nothing wrong with that. And if someone tells you that, if someone tries to judge you because you're wearing makeup and because you're a certain age and wear makeup or whatever, then just see them for what they are. It's just people that are not happy with themselves. And when, you, when someone's not happy with themselves, they want you to be, you know, in the same energy field as them. And when you're not, and you don't match that frequency, then they're upset and they don't like you. So not everybody can like me, and I'm okay with that. I didn't used to be okay with that when I was younger. I tried to be more conforming and try to, you know, make people like me and convince people, hey, I'm a good person, you should like me. I'm done with that shit, okay? I'm done. So um, you get to do what makes you feel good. Not at the expense of other people, of course, but do what makes you feel good and feeds your soul and heals you. I've been through a lot of shit through this lifetime on this planet. And you can see that in the past videos that I make for this channel. So there's people that just give me such disrespectful comments and they'll keep on doing what they do. So um, I've been through a lot and people just feel like a lot of times that I'm privileged and they have no idea what I'm about. So I'm sure a lot of you can relate to that for sure. Even if you can't relate to wearing makeup, you can relate to that even. So yeah, thank you for joining me today. If you'd like to support this channel, you can donate a dollar or more to my PayPal at kdaddytomama at comcast.net and include a question you'd like to see answered on an upcoming show. This money that I get from PayPal will go towards saving up for a phone It'll go towards keeping the lights on in this in this house and helping to pay the rent because rent's a lot more here. Yeah. And also towards saving up to get the land that I want, build a yurt and a bunch of tree homes on there and be able to grow all the produce that I want to grow and herbs and fruits and vegetables that I want. So that's where that money goes for the money that's donated through PayPal. So it's not a requirement to donate to watch the videos on this channel, but people have asked how they can support this channel and that is how you can do it. 
It's one of the ways you can do it. So thank you so much for joining me. Brightest blessings to you all. And I just want to leave one more message of saying, don't ever let anybody bring you down um, based on how you look. Because, like I said, they're very insecure about themselves if they're trying to bring you down. It's usually when you're really feeling up and high and your vibration is high and you're feeling good. That's usually when people try to come and bring you down. So keep your spirits up, protect yourself, protect your aura, your org field, and keep on moving and doing what you're doing. Alrighty, guys. Take care. Brightest blessings to you all. And I will see you soon.